All right, welcome back to the Nasfast channel, and it is beast day on the channel because we've got a beast to show you from artisan cutlery. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started right here on the Nice Fast channel. Hit that subscription button and that notification bell, and let's get started right here, guys. So this is the Dirk Pinkerton design artisan proponent. Now, artisan, guys, I've told you this down in my description, there's a link. I am now an affiliate with Artisan Cutlery and they sent this one out for me to check out and I'm gonna be giving this away at some point, not in this video, but at a later point on a live stream. Um, and this thing is a absolute beast. Now, they don't put the names on their knife, box, knife boxes, but it is, numbered here come on come on 1820p-bbk which i think stands for the fact that it's got a black handle and a black blade but i don't know don't hold me to that um you do have a very interesting design now we had dirk pinkerton on the live stream a few weeks back if you haven't seen that one check it out you have and dirk is the designer you have this crazy g10 handle milling here and here and here and here and here and and it just gives it this really kind of techno look uh really cool with the with the screws as well the way they're done now they do stick up slightly you have a spot for your pocket clip which is big to be flipped to the other side uh, we'll talk about the clip in a minute uh, but guys i'm going to kind of take this knife from a different perspective today because i know a lot of you will carry this but there's going to be some things that a lot of you are going to go there's no way i would put that in the pocket so we're just going to accept some of that today and we're going to enjoy this big beast of a knife because it is well done chamfered here and here uh, some chamfering over here you have a the artisan pivot here uh, you do have a spot uh, for a pin um, I should get that out and show that to you guys um, here it is so there's this pin and the way it works is when the knife is open you can basically stick this pin in uh, and screw it shut and now you've kind of kind of turned this into uh, a sort of a fixed blade uh, it's not going to come unlocked this pin is going to keep it from closing um, so yeah that's pretty cool it's kind of a neat little feature they added in uh, I don't know if that was I bet you that was Dirk's idea um, but really cool and then on the clip side um, of course you have the clip uh, milled out here it is a big boy clip for a big boy knife good retention in and out of the pocket you do have that much sticking out of the pocket and it is reversible uh, but it is i mean it's just flipping you know it's a beast it's just a cool beast now you have a flipper tab with jimping you do have thumb studs uh so let's give the flipper tab a roll first and you can see that detent is good and it's a big heavy blade and it just wants to come open it just pops um bam okay we gotta do we'll just do that every time now bam no we won't all right so thumb studs again very nicely done on the thumb studs i cannot ugh, i can't get enough force to middle finger flick it uh be you know it's just big i can't get my finger in the right place um but the jimping works really well on the flipper you can see drops your thumb and then it just wants to go home because it is tired from being so large um, you do have ridiculous jimping back here. Locks you in like crazy. It doesn't hurt or anything. It just is big. And, and you've got uh, this great finger choil here. It does feel boxy and blocky a little bit in the hand, but this chamfering kind of, you know, it doesn't hurt or anything. You do definitely feel the pocket clip, but it's big enough that you're kind of hovering over most of the clip. Now, does it leave a mark on my hand? Not really um let's see uh, yeah maybe right there let's see let's try again let's see if that's where it's hitting me um yeah not really i mean it's just again i'm white knuckling it because i'm really pushing hard on this one um and you can see i've been doing some cutting with this guy boxes and stuff matter of fact let's just do that real quick uh here we go yep uh kind of got stuck there there we go just <laughs> If you want to break down some boxes, this guy's like, yeah, uh, let's do it, you know? 
Uh, it, it definitely, it's all gummed up because I've been cutting all kinds of cardboard, but you can see it still cuts uh, very nicely. So now, the lockup on this one, it's a thin-ish lock bar, um, but it's sitting at about 50%. It is locked up pretty, let's see, can I get it? Pretty well there, as you can see. Good access to the lock bar and a nice chamfer with no scallops, hallelujah. Uh, very nicely done in that regard. Again, no, no blade play, no lock rock, but again, you could put that pin through there and make it even more so crazy beefy. Now we're gonna do the standard uh, comparisons, but they're gonna be laughable, and then we'll do some non-standard comparisons. So there's your rat one. Uh, which lengthwise is very similar, uh, but it is not anywhere close to as thick of a daddy. And the Rat 2 looks like, uh, yeah, somebody's little cousin that's trying to, you know, get in there and play with the big kids. Um, okay, uh, so let's move this guy up and let's bring out some beasts. So a lot of you know this is a VV Bull Mastiff. And there you go. There is your... Awesome Civivi Bull Mastiff. Again, you've got kind of a, a Sax Warncliffe thing going on here and more of a cleaver here. But you can see, uh, for reference, big, thick, tall knife. And then I always have to, when I talk big knives, you're going to hear the clank of the, uh, the Hoback Summit, which doesn't even fit in my box, um, which is quite a bit longer. This is like a 10-inch knife. And this one is obviously not that long, but you can see the tallness is very similar. All right, I'm gonna put that here and we're gonna talk about. It. Now, uh, this guy is available at Artisan Cutlery. Um, and you know what, guys? I gotta stop down for just a second because I'm a giant goofball and I thought I had this. Well, no, I don't. Hold on, I, I have it. Uh, I am just losing my mind today. It has been, I've been recording a lot of reviews and sometimes. It gets to the point now, as I, that I don't have all my ducks in a row, but um, so the um, I do have a uh, affiliate link, which will be down in the description to this one. Now, this guy is sixty-eight dollars and fifty cents with the black G10 G10 handle and the black blade, um, and uh, this is the full-size proponent, of course. Um, and let me see, this is, let me make sure I get, there's also a sub size one that's only $59.99 in the same trim. Um, and, uh, that is cool for those of you that like that. Now, uh, this particular one is available, as I said, uh, on Artisan's website for $68.50. And that's a pretty good price for such a beefy, beefy knife. 3.85 inch blade. 0.18 on the blade thickness or 4.6 millimeters. This guy is not for the faint of heart. Uh, it is a Warncliffe G10 uh, and uh, it is a liner lock, of course. The overall length is 8.86. The closed length is 5.02. The weight is 9.05 ounces. Beefy, beefy knife. So what do you guys think? Is this one you already have because it's an older knife? Do you carry it if you have it? Would you get one? Would you carry one? Let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. These are available, and it is a absolute beast and so well designed by Dirk, who is the coolest guy. Uh, he was so much fun to have on uh, the live stream. So, But this is a, a really cool knife. Uh, you know, it might not be one you carry on a regular basis, but I could see using this like out in the yard or carrying it for fun or whatever you want to do um, and just destroying uh, cardboard recycling day uh, without question. Um, so, again, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.